Okay, why am I making this video? This is not part of the regular series on uncovering the missing secrets of magnetism. I just had to make this video tonight. I made these devices uh, a month and a half ago, roughly. Uh, most important point in my book is in uncovering the missing secrets of magnetism was a chart that I came up with to work retroductively back about how to, if we know how to get electrification by moving a magnetic against the dielectric for electrification, then we know that dielectricity terminates into the formation of mass and gravity in stellar formation, then retroductively you can work your way backwards to figure out how to get the inverse principle of anything. Now, page 24 and 25 of my book, these are my two most important charts, and they popped into my brain in an instant about uh, force induction and how to reverse things using the platonic retroductive methodology. Now, these devices, before I say what they do, and I'm not making any claims here, because YouTube is full of a bunch of nonsense, insane stuff, and I cannot stand it, especially trickery. I can't stand trickery. Life is too short for trickery and nonsense, and especially games, and I'm not doing that tonight. But I had to report on this tonight. Ever since I made these about a month and a half ago, here's one that doesn't have a shield on it. It contains five parts. I won't tell you what's in there, but one part's a magnet. I knew that I could get a certain effect by torquing, for lack of a better term, I won't tell you exactly what I did, the dielectric inertial plane of a magnet. And each one of these is powered by a little less than uh, a volt and a half of power. Of course, you can see the copper shields here. But tonight, I've been testing these almost every day for a month and a half. I, I first started getting amazing effects on using these on the first one when I created it. Otherwise, I wouldn't have made four more. I mean, I got better things to do with my time. That's why I made three more of them, although this one doesn't have a shield on it. When I first made them, I was getting amazing effects, effects about six uh, weeks ago. And uh, then slowly but surely, I, I noticed that uh, I wasn't getting the effects. I thought, well, you know, maybe... I know my premise is sound, but, uh, you know, I'm not getting it now. And a couple people that I've shown this to... Uh, one person didn't feel it at all, two other people really felt it. One person said, well, I only feel it if you bring it in like this, like you're landing an airplane. And I actually never tried that. I've always done this number, like a little ant jumping. The point being, tonight I tested again on my way to the refrigerator, where I keep these devices. I test them about every night. Then all of a sudden, just the... What is going on here is absolutely amazing. I was checked on Unitaria.com, and uh, I had a hunch. I always check these late at night because the sun is underneath the earth, obviously, late at night, middle of the night. So you've got maximum gravity underneath my feet late at night when uh, I'm here and the earth is underneath me and the sun is underneath that. But I thought, you know, oh my God, what am I doing? What's going on? And then I had an instant thought to go check on. I went to Unitaria.com. I had uninstalled Redshift, which is a stellar program, and I looked at where the moon is at right now, and uh, full moon, uh, new moon, excuse me, was uh, yesterday or day before yesterday, and I checked where it was, and max repulsion right now, maximum repulsion is over here. The moon and the sun are over here towards California, so if I were to get maximum deflection, I would go in this direction towards the moon and the sun. Now, I'm not making any claims here at all, okay? I'm only stating the effects that I'm getting. Now, I'm going to do this off camera where you can't see it so I can sweep my arm behind the camera. If I sweep it at a different angle, right now I'm sweeping it in this direction away from the max, away from the max deflection, I cannot really feel it. If I go down, I can feel it substantially more than I normally do. But if I point it in the direction of where the Earth, right now, the Moon and the Sun are over here. Basically, if I point it towards Los Angeles, the moon and the sun are over here checking with my stellar uh, program. And uh, over here with my left hand, you can't see off camera where I'm able to sleep my arm. I've been doing this now for about two hours. You know, make sure I'm not playing mind tricks on myself. Uh, the effects are four to five times as much as I was getting originally when I first built the first one. And I was noticing amazing effects. Although nowhere near as good as this. And then I kind of gave up because they started to weigh, and I thought, well, you know, the principle is sound, but I'm not getting it like I was before. And, of course, uh, 
That's right now just pointing that direction. The, the effects are amazing. Listen, I'm not making any claims. I'm not stating anything here about anti gravity. But, you know, this most important thing in my book that nobody ever mentions, and I've proven my premise on magnetism is 100% correct. I mean, I've proven it. Period. End of story. I'm using testing media, using ferro cells. I've created six new varieties of uh, ferrous and non-ferrous suspension material to show vortex reciprocation on a magnet. And uh, basically the most important chart in my book that partially has to do with magnetism nobody's even commented on, especially down here about obviously how we get electrification through dielectricity by moving a magnet against a dielectric reflector which is basically just like a, la a Yagi antenna you have a driver which is your uh, moving magnetic field you have your reflector which is your dielectric and then you have your electrification which is the right hand rule uh, but reversing this was simple enough in understanding. I mean, if it works this way, then reversing it has to work a certain way. I won't give you specifics, but let me show you something. You know how a normal magnet looks on a magnetic field finder. Let me show you this. I'm not going to tell you the five parts are, that are in this device. Remember, I'm just telling me uh, my observations. I had to make this video tonight. I wasn't planning on it, but because of this, obviously you can see the inertial plane right there of a standard cylinder magnet. Okay. Here's my device that does not have a reflector on it yet. And you can see, you'll never figure out what's inside. There's one part battery, I mean one part, uh, one part magnet and uh, four other parts. Actually the one part's missing off this one, which is the reflector. Obviously it's made out of copper. My fourth one I thought, well I'd just make one out of, uh, make one out of a, uh, out of a circle it works the same way. I can't tell that it works any better than these do. Here's the package underneath here. I won't tell you what's in there, but they obviously have to have these curled reflectors around the copper, which I won't explain. Look, I can't stand tinfoil hat nonsense and really ridiculous, absurd claims. You know, extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence, but. You know, I was just on my way to actually fix dinner tonight. Like I said, I always test these devices every night, or usually every night. And you know, tonight was just absolutely stunning. And I just it immediately popped in my head that let me go check where the lunar phase is at. I had never thought of that before. Why I'm getting such enormous anti gravitational effects. I'm not saying it is anti gravity, but this is what I predicted anti gravity must necessarily be is from the manipulation of the dielectric off camera right now. I'm actually just manipulating the device and pointing it towards Los Angeles. Like I said, this is the direction of where the moon and the sun are right now. It is between underneath my feet, the earth obviously, but in this direction specifically. And actually pointing the object this way. Actually over this way is where the moon and the sun are. Like I said, this is an extraordinary claim, but I'm not even claiming it. I'm only stating what I am getting. Okay, I'm not stating that this is this and it's over with. I'm making this video for posterity and for my own proof's sake that I am getting extraordinary evidence of any gravitational like effects. What it feels like, obviously you can't see this in the video, is like if, you have, if you've ever had an air hockey table and you've dropped the hockey puck on top of the air hockey table, it feels like a small cushion of air that shrinks. If you do it in the air or anywhere, especially right now it has to be at this angle. It's just amazing. It's four to five times what it was max a month and a half ago when I did this. It feels just like a small circle or a cushion of air like dropping IO. Uh, a puck on an air hockey table. It's 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 amazing. It, I was not planning on making this video. I am not making any claims in this video that this device does what I'm claiming the results are that I'm getting from it. I based this, I made this first one off of my premise about how to get the reverse. This is the most important chart in my in my book, but nobody ever comments on it. I think they either can't decipher it, they can't make heads or tails out of it, but uh, I mean, I know it's accurate. I mean, 
were able to deduce from magnetism how to get electrification through the dielectric inertial reflector. I knew that dielectricity terminated in the formation of mass in stellar and galactic formations. That is what mass particles are. They're conglomerations of, uh, of dielectricity and created enormous uh, power systems, galactic and stellar formations. So reversing your way back, so the ancient Greeks called it apophasis, sort of the via negativa, or apophaticism, or apophasis, that I was able to do. Well, from this premise, I built these devices based upon working backwards. Well, I know if dielectricity terminates into the creation of mass, i.e. gravity, because gravity is spatially accumulative, because magnetism makes up every gives ma gives massiveness to all which is mass i mean magnetism is radiation definitionally as all as uh, faraday and maxwell called it they called it the uh, uh called magnetism the uh, the field of dielectricity which is what it is is radiation is spatial everything over here is counter spatial everything over here is spatial gravity and magnetism that's why electricity contains two attributes one of magnetism one of dielectricity and gravity is the same Mass gravity obviously is spatially accumulative, which is due to magnetism, but its field, as we all know, is centripetal. In other words, you throw something up, it's going to fall down. That's centripetal action. That's convergence. That's why gravity has both attributes of magnetism, obviously due to mass, because matter obviously is a conglomeration of dielectricity, but its principle of what gives the massiveness to mass, i.e. the volume, the interatomic magnetodielectric volume, is due to magnetism. Magnetism is radiation. Anything which is spatial is radiative. In the case of gravity and mass, it is halfway so. In the case of electricity, I won't get into that right now, but... Anyway, I created these devices on working backwards, from the premise of working backwards, and uh, I was kind of discouraged you know, I had uh, three or four days of just amazing effects. I immediately built three, uh, three more of these. I didn't build a, uh, a reflector for this one. I didn't need to. I mean, obviously, three devices is enough. But you can see how I've uh, warped. And I won't tell you how. I warped the di the dielectric inertial plane in here. At uh, uh, the best way to describe it is possibly a pretzel. Remember, I'm not claiming anti gravity at all because I can't stand. I truly cannot stand YouTube quackery, BS and nonsense. I cannot stand it. Life is too short for that. I just had to report on this for my own sake. You can ignore this video as part of the series, but I tell you with 100% certainty, if someone were to put a pistol to my head right now and they said, you know, tell me the truth or you're going to die. We got you hooked to a lie detector test. Are you getting any gravitational phenomena? out of this device currently and my answer would have to be yes and I would pass that lie detector test with all that I hold dear to you I assure you that is the case you will hear no stutter in my voice right now am I claiming that's the case no I am not am I making the claim that I've created an anti-gravity device no I, I have not there's like I said there's there's a little hair over a volt and a half on these devices not much there little small package one part magnet Four other parts, I will not tell you what. Possibly a coil. I showed you what it looks like under the uh, the velocity viewing film. I'm only telling you the phenomena I'm getting, and the only reason I made this video is tonight. I tested the device again, and the effects, I'm doing it off camera here, and pointing towards California, and looking at uh, my uh, stellar program, the moon and the sun are over here right now that's why i'm getting such that I means the only logical reason i mean it dropped off to nothing and then i thought well you know it's good it, good experimentation fun you know your premise was sound for creating a, a device which has anti-gravitational effects but you know move on you know you've got a lot of other stuff to do with feral cells and whatnot but i mean it, it's just amazing all three devices that i have finalized are working the exact same way um One's a little bit more powerful than the other. The one that I have in my hand right now. Because it's the most recent one that I created. I just wanted to report on this. Don't take my word on anything on this. I'm not making any claims. I'm only telling you the phenomena that I'm experiencing. Out of all three of these devices. And then I immediately went to check on my Stellar program. 
where the moon is right now and it makes perfect sense because right now I'm standing on the earth obviously but underneath me in the direction of California over this way is the moon and the sun so I have the sun the moon and the earth all acting in unison if I point my device in this direction I am getting stunning effects is it gonna levit is it gonna levitate off the ground? No, like I said, there's only a little over a volt and a half in here. But the effects compared to when I built these first three is it's amazing. And it makes perfect logical sense that and I knew that actually a month ago as far as doing this late at night with the sun underneath my feet, that, that would be the optimum time to do it, to test it, because then I will have uh, both the earth and the sun underneath my feet. But you know, I hadn't taken the moon into consideration. I've just been testing these religiously, kind of every night. You know, okay, you know, let's just check again. You know, I spent a lot of time making these devices, and I, uh, you know, I've got other things better to do. But you know, I was testing my theory on this chart. Then I, I know with all my heart that this chart is 100% accurate. We know that part of it is accurate as far as getting electrification. I knew the other part was accurate. But I was working backwards just using retroductive methodology and determining, well, if, if this, then this, then this, then therefore to get this, we reverse this through there. In short, obviously I don't have time to explain it all, but that's why I created these devices. And, you know, tonight something amazing happened. And I, like I said, I, I don't know what to say. And like I said, don't, I'm, I'm only telling you the phenomena that I'm getting. I'm not making any claims whatsoever. If I bored you with this uh, senseless video, I'm, I'm sorry, I actually made this video for myself, okay? Um, so, you don't have to believe a single word of it. I'm not selling anything to anybody. I'm not trying to convince anyone of anything, you know? You can call this video BS if you want. I was testing off camera there. Um, if I were you, I would, I would actually do the same thing. Um, my head just kind of rolled off my shoulders about a couple hours ago when... I tested these and I'm just making this video for my own posterity's sake and uh, I'm I'm not confused I'm extremely happy and uh, I'm I'm stunned and uh, the only the only really depressing <laughs> the only really depressing downside of this is that uh, it's so uh, it's so fantastical that uh, you know I would roll my eyes and you know call me full of nonsense too if I were you I mean it, it's just yeah, it's not absurd, but I mean, you know, the very thought of it is uh, Star Trek-like absurd, so. Like I said, I'm not making any claims. Uh, I just had to make this video. Just, the results are stunning. Absolutely stunning. Um, I'm sorry if you watch this and you're upset, because uh, I am going to give, obviously, some really instructional, informative videos on magnetism, but I just had to make this video. I mean, I just had to. So... I hope this little video doesn't ruin the series at all, but I just had to report on this, so I know I repeat myself a bit too much. I'm just kind of stunned tonight. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'm kind of at a loss for words. Thanks.